Good morning, everyone, on this Thursday morning. Hello, how y'all doing this morning? Hope you guys are um, doing well this morning. I have, um, I want to share with you this morning and uh, about seven ways a business plan will solve your problem of procrastination when you're starting a business. Now, you know, guys, I am saying that your business strategies and I help you market brand and strategize your business. So I am here to give you some tips and tools to help you to move along with your business planning. And I also would like for you to know that when you guys are starting a business and planning a business, I know that you have so, 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 so much you want to do, right? But these things are very important for you to for you starting a business. Um, number one, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Number one, because I do have some other things I need to, I have a client I need to take care of this morning. So I'm going to give you these and help. hopefully these will support and help you along the way. The first thing is, you know, when you are in the process of starting a business and wanting to start a business, you got some things that is a must that you must do. Now, we're going to we're going to talk about all of them because I do believe in order for you to build wealth, you must have the plan written down, crystallized. You must have that plan. What a plan does, it it, it moves you closer to your vision, your dream, whatever you want to call it, your goal. It moves you closer to it. And in order for you to move closer to it, you got you have to have that detailed. You have to. And the reason why you have it detailed is because it will lead you to making all the money and all the whatever whatever the purpose is for your for your idea. You know, I know that sometimes we 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 know that our purpose is wrapped up into our, our ideas or our goals or you know things that we feel like that we're just put here to do. There's no exceptions to the rule. But you must must you can't bypass planning for any kind of success that you want to have. You know, I, I I don't know how much I can tell you that it is so, so critical for your success. The first thing, now I'm going to go ahead and get started with you. The first thing with your, you, you have to do, and it's not in this order. I'm just giving you the things that you need to do. So if you're writing these down and, and, and deciding you want to do your own planning, these are some tips for you. You must have your marketing down pack, whether it's social media marketing, whether it's, you know, door to door, in a sense, um, you know, just your local, local marketing, whether it's worldwide, whatever it is, you must have this in plan and in place and you must have it written down. And the reason why it's good to have it written down because there are so many different, you know, um, segments to marketing. You know, you market to your your target market. You you market to your industry. You use social media, different social media platforms, and they have layers too as well for you. You know, social media has really changed the game for a lot of us when it comes down to starting a business and it's so great it's so grand because we can reach people now that we didn't think we could reach before we can connect connect so much better and it's cost effective so that's um when you're starting a business that could be another situation that you may have is you know for is you getting the money or having the funding to start your business so now the, the second thing is your team your management team you know, now your team is not always you hiring someone and you having employees. That can mean someone contracting, you subcontracting with someone that you may hire, outsource. I share all of this when I do my classes and when I work with people one-on-one, -on -one, work with clients one-on-one. -on -one, there are ways that you can build a team without first per se hiring someone with nine to five there's a there's a strategy for that and a lot of you are not being told this out here but there are strategies to help you get this done so the next thing number three is you know what is going to cost you to start your business see if you know the cost 
you are so quicker to get there. You're so much quicker to get to where you need to be. Now, when, when let me just ponder on this a little bit more when I'm talking about your finances and, you know, counting the costs of your venture or your idea, or your purpose or your dreams, your goal, whatever. When you're counting the costs and you know exactly what it's going to cost you, everything in the universe, in God's so magnificent creation, in his will for you, in your purpose here on earth, do you not think that he's not going to draw those things to you? I'm telling you from experience, it's happened to me over and over and over again. And along with that, knowing and counting the cost of anything you're doing, guess what? Your faith has to be activated. Your desire to keep on moving forward. You can't give up. You have to have tough skin. You have to avoid the negative chatter within your mind and from others as well. So I want to just plug that into you. Now, number four. You have to identify all of your opportunities out there. This is a part of you sitting down and planning this thing out. This is no joke. You must do this. And how are you going to do that? You're going to do some research. And if you have number five, if you have a marketing piece um, that, you know, I mean a product, you need to make sure that you intertwine that with who's going to help with the product. All of this planning. Thank you so much for inviting your fathers. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kimmy. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'm on Periscope too as well. So this is somebody is sharing the broadcast. Now, back to the production. You know, you have your administrative piece. This is a part of number five. You have to develop all of this and you can achieve it so much greater you know your reticular activating system guys research this look this up it works so well when you are planning and when you have something written down do you know millionaires and billionaires they don't just use technology and they don't have it written down a lot of, even Jeff Bezos had Amazon written down on a napkin or a piece of paper, I think, when he and his wife was moving from Washington, I think, Washington State, and then they were going to California. He had it written down just on a, on a piece of paper or a napkin or something. I cannot remember exactly what it was. And look at the company now. Yes. He, yeah. Oh, it was a napkin, wasn't it? Okay. It, he is, you know, and... And I say this because we we think that we got to have this big thing together with our business. We got to just be so, we, we procrastinate because we're perfectionists. We are so gifted, guys. We have so much to share, so much to give the world, so much to give our communities, so much to give one another. And yet and still, we let fear and procrastination hold us back. Please, please, please don't let that do that. Don't let it do that to you any longer. Okay, now getting to number six. Setting a budget. Setting a budget within what are you going to do? This is why so many businesses go out of business. Because we're not setting a budget and planning on how we're going to allocate and use our funding and take baby bite-sized small steps to the next phase of our business, to the next phase, to the next step. And we're going on up that ladder. But we want this grandiose thing done because we're looking at everyone else and we're seeing what everyone else is doing and we're seeing um, how everybody else is doing it. And yet and still, we're not looking in front of us. We're not looking at the prize, the, the ultimate prize, uh, uh, the thing that we have to, to share now. Okay. Now, the last thing is, how are you going to communicate your, you know, other than marketing, you know, knowing all of this right here, what I'm getting ready to say is your financial, and that's 
my clients. So I am going to get ready to finish, wrap this up. Your communication, communicating your idea, you know, the type of financing, I, like I said before, analyzing the cash flow, the forecast probability. All of this is going to be in, in into number seven. So with that being said, guys, um, I am going to... May, I am going to leave y'all with that. Well, these are seven. These are the ones that I want to share with you. And just give them some, th some thought. Because procrastination is is a thief of your, your vision and your idea. It's, it's, it's a really, it's a thief. And I think if you would eliminate the fears and don't procrastinate and get out and start writing your business plan. Start writing it out and so where it can really manifest into your world, into your life. And the way it's going to happen is you have to think all through all of these things I just shared with you. So anyway, um, I'm going to leave you with that. And then if you need my services, reach me at bit.ly slash sandybizcoach. Or either you can email me on my platforms. Contact me. Reach out to me. You can set up a one-on-one -on -one with me. That would be great. I would love to to um, talk to you. Now, my consultation is a fee. I don't get on the phone and you spill out and ask me a thousand questions. I don't do that because guess what? The knowledge that I have to share with you, it is worth the, the, the investment. It should be the investment that you invest in yourself. If it's not me, find you a coach. Find you somebody that can help you to monetize and grow and start your business because you have a legacy. You have something great within you and you are created for greatness. And if you feel like you are the one that have a business plan to share with the world, guess what? I mean, a business to share with the world, you need to start that business plan. There's no questions about it. There's no doubt about it. There's no negotiation about it. You must do it. So anyway, thank you for being here and have a marvelous day. And I'll talk to you later.